drivers here along Route 10 in Chesterfield County are getting used to seeing this more and more of those orange barrels, the construction crews, the equipment that's lined up on the side of the road and that traffic added traffic along this stretch of Route 10 between Route 1 Jeff Davis Highway and the I-95 interchange, which is right here behind me. And pretty soon, Bree, this place will have a whole new look. And that's thanks to a project that's been in the works for about five years. But just a few months ago, this construction began. Drivers and businesses are definitely taking notice. The constant buzz of traffic zipping along this busy Chesterfield Road just got a little louder in the past few months. Uh, chaotic. It's a cluster. In addition to the 52,000 vehicles using the road daily, now factor in more work vehicles and equipment. These men are tasked with taking this four lane divided highway and transforming it to six lanes. Drivers say so far. Well, especially like five o'clock traffic, it, it just, it's like New York. It just doesn't move. County leaders say the improvements are being done all in the name of safety. Years ago, when they began formulating a plan, officials used three years worth of crash data along Route 10 between Route 1 and I-95 to identify crash trends. A study zone that saw 91 crashes, which at the time, the crash rate was more than two times the statewide average. Jasper Gilmore, who drives Route 10 daily, isn't surprised. Especially people not paying attention, just slamming on their brakes and wanting to get into traffic and merge as fast as they can. So how are businesses along this stretch faring with the Route 10 road widening project? We're losing all this. Lyndon Harris, who has run Auto World on Route 10 for 36 years, says they're losing nearly half of their car lot. He's keeping a close eye on the construction and the calendar, eager for this to wrap up. It's, it's very hard for him to get in here and and sometimes, you know, when they're out there working, you know, it's, it's uh, people are trying to pay attention to driving and they can't get in here and it's, it's, it, it hurts us a whole lot. Chesterfield leaders expect that this project will also provide an increase in corridor capacity needed to address increasing vehicle volumes to come. And they say it sets the county up to pursue additional road improvements in the future. Now, while some of those drivers and business owners say they're a little frustrated with the construction, they do believe that once it's all said and done, it will bring added safety measures to this corridor. And so this construction project costs about $10.8 million. The breakdown, Chesterfield County is kicking in $3.82 million from the state. The other five will come in from federal funds, and we're told this project will be completed this fall.